we just as farmers need some help with nematodes. There are a lot of nematodes out there. Soybean cyst nematode has been this exploding thing here in the last few years. Take North Dakota, for example. Now, if you're from, let's say, Illinois or somewhere in the central United States, you might not think of North Dakota as the heart of soybean growing country, but in certain years, North Dakota might be number three, four, or five in the whole country in terms of states that raise the most soybeans. And if you add the two Dakotas together, some years that is more than any other state in the United States. Well, soybeans have been growing so much in terms of acreage in the Dakotas, but a lot of people are planting beans on beans, or certainly at least beans every other year. And soybean cyst nematode has stretched way up into the Dakotas, and it's gotten to be a major issue to the point that the traits that have had resistance in the past to nematodes, they just aren't working anymore. And so now people are like, well, what do I do now? I, I mean, I'll try the Peking trait or something, but I'm having major issues. That's where a nemosphere can come in.